Good morning. Thank you for joining me for another five good minutes with the Word. I'm Barry Bryson, and we're continuing our study of the life and letters of the Apostle Peter. And today uh, we're in Luke chapter 22, uh, and we're dealing with the denial, uh, the thrice denial of Jesus by Peter, something that Peter said he would never do, and Jesus told him he would. Um, uh, and uh, we're in Luke's gospel, even though this is reported um, in all four of the Gospels, um, because we have this detail in Luke's Gospel that we don't have in any of the others, um, and I just really want us to see see what happened in Luke chapter 22. Let's just go ahead and read Luke chapter 22, verses 54 through 62. Having arrested him, they led him away and brought him to the house of the high priest, but Peter was following at a distance. And after they kindled a fire in the middle of the courtyard and had sat down together, Peter was sitting among them. And a certain servant girl, seeing him as he sat in the firelight and looking intently at him, said, This man was with him too. But he denied it, saying, Woman, I don't know him. And later another saw him and said, You are one of them too. But Peter said, Man, I am not. After about an hour had passed, another man began to insist, saying, Certainly this man was also with him, because he's a Galilean. But Peter said, Man, I do not know what you're talking about. And immediately while he was still speaking, a cock crowed. And the Lord turned and looked at Peter. And Peter remembered the word of the Lord, how he had said before, A cock crows today, you'll deny me three times. And he went out and wept bitterly. Uh, this is um, this is rough. It's not easy for us to keep from doing what Peter did because um, we like him so much. We love him so much, and of course we love Jesus. And uh, and we can so visualize this happening. How many times did the cock crow? I hope you don't are not losing sleep over this because <laughs> we're told different things in different gospels about the number of times the cock crowed uh, and i've seen so many commentaries try to work it out by saying well was it really a rooster sometimes the romans called the bugle call the cock crow and blah 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 it does not matter we are imposing 20th century 21st century rules of historiography upon a first century document. It doesn't matter how many times the cock crowed. What matters is that the cock did crow and that Peter denied Jesus three times exactly like Peter said he would, Jesus said he would. Uh, I think it's important for us when we envision this to remember how small these spaces are. The courtyard, even in Caiaphas's house, would not have been very big. Caiaphas's house would not have been very big. You know, it just wouldn't. I mean, no one had a really big house, uh, not even the high priest. Um, these were small spaces, and and the, the, the house would have been built around a central courtyard so that you could have seen into the different areas if there were open doors and open windows. And, and, and so there would have been a line of sight between Jesus and Peter. Jesus is being spat upon. Jesus is being pummeled. Jesus is being abused. And um, things have happened to him already, even before the Romans get a hold of him. And Peter, as we've said before, um, is drawn to Jesus like a magnet, even when he's afraid, even when he's ashamed. He cannot be separated from Jesus. When he said, Master, to whom shall we go? We're not going anywhere. He meant that. And even though he's had this terrible night, which he said the wrong things and done the wrong things and been rebuked, he has to be there. And he is there. Uh, and that's something. But it's not enough. It's not enough to admit who he is. I will go with you to jail, I'll die with you. That is not true. He felt it at the time, he believed it at the time, but it was not true. He did not have the guts, the intestinal fortitude to do what he 
wanted in his head and his heart to do. Jesus said, you're going to mess this up. You're going to deny me. Satan is going to sucker punch you and knock you to the ground. And he did. But Jesus also said, when you return. But I know he wasn't thinking about that path, that word, that phrase at this moment. When their eyes met, were both Jesus' eyes black at the time? What, were they swollen? Was his nose busted? Was there blood coming out on his face? And, and what, what did he look like? Did he look hurt? Did he look betrayed? Did he look understanding and caring? Because that's even worse in some ways. It's that song, uh, have you seen Jesus, my Lord? That verse always gets gets me. Have you ever stood at the cross with a man hanging in pain? <sighs> seen the look of love in his eyes. Then I say you've seen Jesus, my Lord. That's what Peter saw. And that's what makes it so hard to bear. Well, tomorrow, Peter is going to get to see an empty tomb. Thank you for joining me for another five good minutes, and we'll pick up uh, in the 20th chapter of the Gospel of John tomorrow.